So this question starts off with providing us with an equation. I'll always take note of that. So L equals 24 plus 3.5 M. We will definitely need to use that. Now going on to the question, it looks like it's going to be a translate word problem question just given its length, which basically just means it's a word problem and we want to not read the entire question before or without stopping to write down any quantitative information that we can. So the question says one end of a spring is attached to a ceiling. So I have this other strategy called plug-in picture, PIP, which really just says anytime you read something in a question that can be drawn, I just like to draw it, okay? So here's my ceiling, here's my spring, and it says uh, that it's attached to a ceiling, so that's a good drawing. Next sentence says, when an object of mass m kilograms is attached to the other end of the spring, so here's my mass of m kilograms, um, the spring stretches to a length of L, right? So how would I draw that? In fact, I'd probably get rid of this and say that same spring is now down here, and this length is L, All right? So this is... Let me erase this. So the first spring represents the spring without the mass. The second drawing represents what happens when you add the mass to it. So the next part of this question says, what is M? So what is M? So M equals question mark when L equals 73. Well, what you'll notice here is that we really don't need the drawing at all because we have the equation. L equals 24 plus 3.5 M. So if I know that this equation is here and I know that L is 73, I can replace L with 73. So the equation becomes 73 equals 24 plus 3.5 M. Since I'm trying to solve for M, right, I can just isolate M, which starts off by subtracting 24 from both sides. 73 minus 24 is 49. So I have 49 equals 3.5 M. And then we divide both sides by 3.5. You can go to your calculator, type in uh, your 49 divided by 3.5. And what you will find is that M is equal to 14, which makes our final answer here choice A.